So September 16th is almost here and that means one thing, mandatory remote ID. What on earth is gonna happen on September 16th? I think it's gonna be a little bit like Y2K. Everyone's freaking out and on September 16th, really nothing's gonna happen. First off, what on earth is remote ID? What is this requirement? Well, all drone operators are gonna be required to have a remote ID broadcast module. But what's it broadcasting? Well, it's broadcasting your position, your location, altitude, speed to other people in the area, other pilots, to the authorities. But one thing you need to realize is it's just broadcasting on a Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth signal. So you have to really be like within the area. And I mean, there's been times when I've been trying to do a Bluetooth speaker across the house and it doesn't even get that much signal. We've been testing all these remote ID modules and the range just isn't that great. But I know a lot of people are freaking out right now about remote ID, and I was just up in Tennessee at Ken Heron's uh, fourth annual Minefield event. I had a chance to ask a few people what they really think about remote ID. Uh, Ken, yeah. wh what do you really think of remote ID? Oh, come here, let me show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's on the cop car. Yeah. Huh. Get a close up of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks. Oh, Calvin, you're incorrigible. What do you really think of remote ID? Actually, I think it's a good idea. I do. Why, why so? Uh, too many nefarious flyers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, it'll help, first of all, it'll help temper the bad flying. Yeah. Because people might say, oh, I might get caught. Yeah. Because it's kind of like laws in the land. Yeah. It, 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 it establishes that line. Don't go yeah. past this sure. line. Sure. And so if, if, if remote ID becomes what they hope it is. Sure. Um, it, it, I would like to see all those bad flyers not fly anymore. Yeah. Because they're giving us a bad reputation. Yeah, understand. You know, understand. So that, that's that's my opinion. So what do you really think? I mean, not even looking at your shirt, your shirt aside, <laughs> what do you really think of remote ID? I think it's dangerous. Dangerous. I think, I, I think it's going to get people hurt. Um, yeah. And I, I don't think they're going to enforce it. Yeah, I hear you. I think they'll use some people, maybe YouTubers with things on their shirt as an example, but I fly my so I hear you. So I hear you. Well, <laughs> but yeah, I, I think it's crazy. I think it's crazy. But what do we do? The tubes out of the toothpaste. Right? I hear you, sir. I hear you. So some mixed reviews on remote ID, uh, no doubt. And I get it. Nobody wants to have somebody invading their privacy, knowing what they're doing, tracking them or anything along those lines. I totally get it. So why do we even need remote ID? Honestly, remote ID, if done properly and executed properly, that goes for us as, as part 107 operators and by the FAA for that matter, this is a two way street here, can really work to further part 107 drone operations. Now I know there's gonna be a few that are gonna be the outlaws and not gonna to wanna to follow it. And, and I get that and that's gonna happen. We've actually gone through this twice in manned aviation. First it was called Mode C and most recently it was called ADSB. And it's more a comply or, or you know, get a slap on the wrist or your aircraft's unairworthy. Like you just, if we're gonna operate in a national airspace system, we have to play by their rules. And it's really that simple. And honestly, if you are playing by the rules, you have nothing to worry about with remote ID. What do you have to hide anyways with what you're doing? Now, if you're literally flying under the radar and don't have your 107 yet, then yeah, you, you, pro you probably aren't gonna get remote ID either, right? You might be one of the ones that gets a little slap on the wrist. But truth be told, if you're playing by the rules, and I know every one of you out here is probably playing by the rules if you're watching this, um, you're gonna end up being okay. Of course, I know everyone has different opinions. I know there's a lot of myths out there. So will you leave me a comment down below? Let's debunk any myths. Let's make sure we get the truth out there because September 16th is coming. At the end of the day, we're in the business of making safer, smarter pilots. So thank you to all our Remote Pilot 101 alumni. Thank you for referring uh, your friends and family over to Remote Pilot 101 M0A as well. Just have a blessed, abundant, outstanding rest of your day. Fly by the rules, which I know you're doing anyways, and most importantly, remember, the good pilot is always learning. I'll see you all on September 16th for Remote ID.